I want to thank the President for initiating this process. Before he initiated this process, there was concern from South Sudanese, from the region, from the international community. Because time is running out. And there was no way forward. So questions were being raised. Are we going to crash? Or are we going to get a solution? Those who met me in my office or at home, I refrain from giving a solution. But I always refer them to a document we authored in March 15th, 2022, where we outline the status of the implementation of the agreement. And we say the way forward is for parties to dialogue. This is where we stopped. Because the senior person is the president. And clearly, he knows the challenges that are facing the agreement, the implementation of the agreement. He knows them, as we also know them. But without him making the move, it would be difficult for the rest to make the move. Although we think in Iowa we had made the move in March, we have said we need to dialogue so that we find a way forward. When the president presented his roadmap for democratic transition to elections on the 21st, it did not take us a long time I remember I was the first speaker after him, after the elaborate presentation made by Dr. Martin. So after Dr. Martin I spoke, I said, look, we have only two options. Crash by 22nd February or we extend. And if we extend, the most, the, the, the issue of the Constitution is the one that is consuming more time. And as experts say, it takes 24 months to complete a credible constitution. And the experts are Max Planck Institute. Therefore, we say this is from this activity when we have established the NCRC to the Constitutional Conference and the end of the transition. You have this activity of the Constitution, you have the activity of transforming 
the parliament into a constituent assembly and the activity of elections. The rest of the activities fall within, including the security arrangements. That's why we came up with 24 months. Actually, the meeting finished. Because we are all cognizant that in the next four months you cannot implement what is in this agreement. I thought they were going to talk about the percentages. 27.3 of the provisions are implemented. 31.3 of the agreement are in work are work in progress. Forty one percent point four is pending, not touch. So it means you have seventy two point seven of the agreement not implemented. You have no choice you have to extend. Our concern was if we extend how do we sell it to South Sudanese? Because some people think extension is just for sake of being in power. But what choice do you have? if you don't extend. If you don't extend, you go to square one. And we all know what the square one is. If you extend, then you will be accused that you want to stay in power. It's good that we are, we are five parties in the agreement. If it was one party, then that one party would be accused for manipulating the situation in order to stay in power. So, but I want to say the extension is genuinely for this peace agreement to be implemented. <laughs> Nothing else because the people of South Sudan have a right to elect their leaders. After independence, we call for a transition. Before the independence, or while we were discussing the transition, others were saying we should go for elections. But we, we saw it it was premature to go for elections. The, in, the national institutions were not established. The cadre that is supposed to run these institutions were not there. Some of you will remember we had to establish a diaspora, a diaspora desk in the office of the president to attract South Sudanese that have gone to diaspora to come and help in establishing the system. Now we have an employment. We have the necessary cadre to run the system in South Sudan. So there would be no need of a transition. But because this agreement, this agreement, the title is, I didn't pick the title, don't accuse me, but it tells you, revitalize agreement on the Republic 
on the resolution of the conflict in the Republic of South Sudan. The agreement addresses the root causes of the conflict. So if you, if you don't implement it, then the root causes of the conflict will still be pending. The reforms that are necessary for this state would still be pending. I recall a room at the initiation of the peace talks in Rome. I had a discussion with Thomas Shirillo after the president left and, and I remained behind to persuade him to come back. But he said, since you are committed to the agreement, go. If you implement it, you will have no reason to continue being a whole out group. I believe he kept repeating it to our delegations then went to Rome that he has no agenda. If this peace agreement is implemented. All the solutions, the root causes of the conflict are in, addressed in this agreement. Now our challenge is, we are going for extension of 24 months. Will we implement it? People talk of political will, political will. I think if we have political will, we should implement it. If we didn't have the political will, when we started implementation of this agreement, now circumstances have forced us to generate that political will. I agree with uh, the first speaker from the civil society. When this agreement is described, difficult, complex, unimplementable, it gives you expression of lack of political will. But if we take the challenge that we implement it, we should be able to implement it because it's our agreement. And what is good that the president has initiated this not coming from outside, not IGAT, not RJMAC, not C5, not AU. We generated this will to implement it, to produce a roadmap, identifying what, what has been implemented, what has not been, what is in progress and what has not been implemented and have given ourselves the challenge to implement it in 24 months plus the rem remaining period of the transitional period. I think this is generation of political will. And therefore, we must move forward. This agreement cannot be implemented in a situation that the country structures don't change. The security system remains the same. It cannot implement itself. 
because you need to disseminate it you need these political parties to be active in the forefront so that the people can own it so it needs political space if there is no political space you can't at all you can't I haven't I think the last the last uh, the last 30 months I came to Juba on the 17th of February and we formed the government on the 15th And the SPLMIO is, uh, uh, is there. I have not been invited to come and to go for a rally. And the reason is people are afraid. The whole political rallies. You can't transform. Political parties cannot survive if there is no political space. We took a stand as I.O. in Parliament when the Right Honourable Speaker made her summary of what she thought on the Political Parties Act. The IOM MPs objected. And by the way, I have met them four times since they declared a boycott. I would call them, I share their caucus, to evaluate whether there is a reason for them to go back to Parliament. But they maintain, no, they will not go back. Because if they went back with what happened in the TNLA, I should kiss this agreement goodbye. This agreement gives us a way to work, whether in the executive or in parliament. If there are differences, there is also a way of doing it. It is not the attendance. It is the consensus that you generate in Parliament. I personally, when, when, when I was told of what happened, I wrote to the President. I repeat it to all concern because it was the first incident and if this first incident is left to go, the SPLMIG and its allies has a mechanical majority. It will pass anything they want to do. But then they would forget that there is an article which is 1.14.8 that tells you in Parliament in doing your business, you must support the agreement. You must enact legislations that support the agreement and reforms in it. People read it, they forget this is a guideline. Now, if we, if we start now, differences from the Political Parties Act.
and we did not resolve them. And Parliament continues to work as if nothing has happened. What are we saying? What is the message? Yesterday I followed the budget being table. Uh, Shangson described SPLA as a giant. Okay, if the other giant is absent, what are you saying in that budget? You are not working to support the agreement. You are not working to do reforms in it. So we, we have challenges. Challenges in operation, in even interaction. You kind of described it as deficit of trust and confidence. Before the war, I had many friends in this room. But if somebody wants to come to my house now, he'll have to come by night. Why is that? This is because the system has not changed. You are afraid. You might be targeted. You might be accused of working with the other political parties. Mr. President, when this function was delayed, it was to resolve issues. Who is to sign? Who is to sign? So, is it going to be Vice President Hussein? Is it going to be uh, Honorable Josephine? They are one coalition. What prevents them to solve this? Is Josephine, is, this is a political party. I'm talking here as a share of a political party. If Josephine is the share, then she should sign. Because it's, it's not a governmental forum. So in the end, people had to come and say, okay, the person who signed last time, even if he's not the share, for sake of harmony, let Shangson sign. And the issue of OP OPP was discussed. I think if we have a good political space, these political parties will resolve these differences. They will resolve them. So political space is important. I hope, Mr. President, in your statement, you will make it. You see, Yeah, I continue saying it. <laughs> Mr. President, in your statement, it would be good to guide the nation on political space <laughs> so that these security organs are not targeted by political parties. Because we would want to see our national security loved by all. We would like to see our police to be the protector of all. We would like to see our army if one is in a bus 
Then a civilian will say, this man dies for me. Sit. Take my seat. We would like to see that. We would like to see these organs supporting, serving our country. But with that direction, things will continue. Obviously, we Parliament has passed the security bills, or one, one security bill, S, S, SPDF bill, or Act Now. The rest are still pending. I hope any of these that have been passed in the absence of I.O. should return to Parliament. including the political party bill so that we do it together. Deng was talking about unity. I agree with him. Unity of purpose is important because so that others like Shamsung are not deterred by the unity of SPLM. Because that would, would mean a, a one monolithic political party in it. But I want you to know one thing. The Kenyan example would not work with us. Many of the SPLM are ideologues. I want to explain. Many of the SPLM, whether it is IG, IO, they are ideologues. They have a perception, a vision of what this country should be. So it is not question of power. It is question of you have a vision, where do you want to take this country to? And therefore, some will find SPLM, whether it is SPLM IG, SPLM IO, uh, an animal which says, okay, this is, this is the vision. We must do it this way. But if we want to do what the Kenyans do, it's good for their system. But for us, for us in this republic, it's different. I do remember when I was a young boy, very young indeed, in Kodok. Clement Umboro, Minister of Interior, visiting Kodok. We were his students. They gave, came with slogans. Sheikh Lam was their forerunner. Slogans about independence. I actually have written several slogans, but I forgot them. But the slogan of Clement Mboro, I want to say it, maybe somebody was with us in Koduk. It says, freedom with justice, we demand complete separation. We're kids. That was his slogan. We sang it, jump around about it, but it built us. Build us. Political parties are built on an ideological basis. How you see the country, how it would prosper. So that is why probably there is difficulty 
in unification of the SVLM because political trends have come out of it even probably in the real SVLM of Pagan political trends have come out maybe in FDs they're failing to join SP, uh, SPLMIG they want to be keep separate because they have a political trend So Kenyans have their own model. We have our own model. We can build it. We can build it. It's not bad. Well, I say it's political forum. Uh, I don't want to end without mentioning first I, I read a statement made by the civil society. Maybe another group which does not uh, go with Yakana. When I looked at the document, I saw it was fears, based on fears based on the fact that they didn't know what is, go what is in the road map. They didn't see it. But they were invited yesterday. Why did they not come? To come and contribute. However, it's because there is misinformation. Because even some people came to me who are responsible, they said, are you going to reduce the number of the vice presidents? Are you going to reduce the number of ministers? But I say no. What we are doing is an extension. We are not reviewing the agreement. We are only extending it. We are giving it timelines in the metrics. If we have extended 24 months, we give new timelines for the metrics. So that no vice president, no provision is going to be touched. I believe when Dr. Martin read the document, no provision has been touched except pushing the, 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 the time for 24 months. So some, the document I read from the civil society, that group, they didn't wait. I think now when this document is public, they will, their fears will be assured. But they may say, but this 24 months, but do you have a choice? Do you want to go to square one? No. In it. I want to end by also, I, I saw a letter written by our very good friends who supported us in this struggle, in this independence, Troika, expressing concerns. I think it, it was drafted or written from the fact that you have not seen the document. They, are, they should be encouraging issues. The, the issues they raised are issues that would encourage us to go forward. I didn't see the uh, issue of principle to boycott this, this occasion at all. And after all, we have been discussing with them. We have been clear that it is 
extension of the period because even if, if, even if we took it from the perspective of uh, graduating forces, the food for the graduating of the forces may arrive today and in Upper Nile maybe in a week time. And when you graduate them, deployment also takes time. Okay, the biggest group of the forces is not yet there. Because building confidence was not an easy thing. But they have done good despite what has been happening they maintain the peace so we'll have in phase two the biggest group maybe we'll have to ex expand the number of training centers so that we do it by the by february 22nd 2023 all forces would have been trained, graduated, deployed. These are concerns we have. And our good friends from Troika talked about them in their document. But they are real concerns. So I take them as encouragement. And we know the U.S. has withdrawn their support on CTSAM and on RJ Mac. All we can do is to appeal to the U.S. again. Resume the support. If the U.S. is paying one billion U.S. dollars on humanitarian it shouldn't go for nothing. This country should be secured and the country should move to democratic elections in a, in a secured situation. If we went to elections now, you have multi-political multi parties. Uh, uh, multi uh, forces who will respect the elections they will not it will be chaos but I want to end by saying let's continue working together the international community we appeal to you again Uh, continuous support to us to the region we appreciate the work they have done they made us reach this point at times when there are difficulties they would come and give us counsel and we move forward ok this time they only came to us as Okay, you are extending, yes. And they had the same concerns like we had. Will the people accept the extension? Will the international community continue support with the extension? But I think now that the roadmap for democratic transition, peaceful and democratic transition, is exposed to all of us, we should say we support it. By this, I want to end my statement. Thank you very much.